Hi, I'm Elke Holland, and I'm here today with Stefan Edlich, who is a professor of software engineering and databases, and who runs the NoSQL website and also some conferences. Stefan, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for being invited. It's a pleasure. Can you tell me what is NoSQL? Well, NoSQL is basically a new, a new generation, a next generation of databases. And they are mostly, of course, non-relational, distributed, mostly open source, and scalable. That's very important. Yeah, the movement began in 2009 uh, for uh, web scale development, web scale databases. And there are more characteristics as uh, schema-free, easy replication support. They mostly have an easy API. Uh, yeah, and that's it. But now the community mostly translated with not only SQL. So it's more than SQL. Okay. So the history is it started a couple of years ago, yes? Uh, that's a little difficult to say. In fact, the history started uh, even in the late 60s mm -hmm. uh, in parallel to relational databases. And then came the object databases, XML databases. And it really started with Google and uh, Web 2.0. Uh, when, uh, because they had big, big data, but the real no, no SQL systems we see now were developed uh, from 2006 as Hadoop, Cassandra, CouchDB, MongoDB, or React. And the, the word now comes into mind since 2009 because uh, of conf no SQL conferences, uh, and uh, Jonathan Ellis, I think, was one of the persons who gave the name no SQL. Okay. What's the rationale behind the NoSQL? Yeah, it's uh, very diverse. It's difficult to describe. Um, first of all, uh, there are different requ requirements. Mm. Uh, NoSQL databases, uh, if you choose a NoSQL database, you start from scalability, and then you look at your data model. With relational databases, it's the opposite. You start with your model, and then uh, afterwards you look at scalability. Okay. And uh, with uh, no SQL, you want to scale out. You want to simply add more computers, more racks. You have different mm -hmm. consistent requirements because, uh, yeah, joins in relational databases are quite costly, open source, schema relaxed, and good replications. This is the rationale behind no SQL. Okay. How did you get into the no SQL field? Well, I started first 2003 with object databases, and uh, then I started some uh, database conferences, the ICO, ODB conference, EcoDB conference, and then I uh, started to gather material about NoSQL databases and created the website nosql uh, slash databases dot org, and so I got into this field, and it's uh, it is very interesting. Okay. Now, what kind of NoSQL systems exist now? Oh, there are a lot of them, and really a lot of them are used already in the industry. The most uh, important one, perhaps, is are systems like uh, Hadoop, uh, HBase, or Cassandra. They're used in the industry. There are also document stores, uh, which are quite new in the style. Key value stores a lot and others like graph databases, which are getting very hot now because of location-based services and social services, uh, because they always uh, have graph data. Okay. Now, no S are you saying that NoSQL systems are better than relational databases? Where would you use one over the other? Yeah, it's um, you can't say uh, you use one over the other. It's no SQL is simply about uh, diversity, having the choice of choosing a different database than a relational. So no SQL is uh, mainly about uh, yeah the freedom of choice first. Okay. Uh, most, in, in, in most companies, the boss decides, you t please, you, you take the most uh, popular database or relational database because, because we have a contract, and then you're forced to take it. And I often see that uh, people then are pressing graph data into relational databases, which simply doesn't make any sense. So it's, it's about thinking about requirements. What are your database requirements? Knowing the database spectrum and then choosing the right database. That's the point.
Okay. Um, so an OSQL database is typically used for large concurrent user, large amounts of data systems, that sort of stuff. Yes, mostly. If, if you look in the industry where they are using NoSQL databases, you see companies like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, SourceForge, Dig, even Craigslist converts to NoSQL databases, and Google also. So these are all companies with a large amount of data. They have many users, a large amount of data, mostly petabyte scale, and they have to manage it, and the information has to be available fast. So that's why they're using NoSQL databases. Okay. So just to, in summary, what would you say is so hot about NoSQL systems? Yeah, the, the best point is that NoSQL databases, that the, the whole movement forces you to, to think about, to rethink about persistence. Uh, for example, there, uh, yeah, it's, it's about to, yeah, it's about choice. Start looking what databases are available, have the spectrum in mind, and uh, yeah, choose the right database. And if you look at some uh, NoSQL databases as CouchDB, they have so many stunning features like REST access or where they're simply killing the middleware, uh, simple replication, scaling, and it's, it's really cool to look at these databases and start using them. Okay. Stefan, thank you very much for explaining and joining me today. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye.